everybody, it's Renee from Tailspin Farm and I am hopping on today to do an unboxing video, which is going to be really fun. Um, but first, uh, let me introduce myself to those of you who are new here. Um, I am a fiber artist. I knit, crochet, uh, dye yarn, spin yarn, uh, and I raise angora rabbits. I have French and English and German angoras right now. Um, and my hopes for this spring is to expand my little fiber farm here. We shall see. Um, you're going to see the random dog or cat wander through here <laughs> because they, my uh, border collie is usually always right beside me. Um, <clears throat> so welcome. I have um, I have recently become a Spinolution dealer, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I found a spin the Spinolution wheels a few years ago. There she is. Um, and um, I, I think I ran across them through Erin at Crafty Housewife Yarns um, and fell in love with them. And I purchased a Monarch um, two years ago, I think it was now, or almost two years ago, that I've had my Monarch and I absolutely love it. And I've been toying with the idea of becoming a dealer um, along the way. Uh, and I've been spinning for about um, 18 years now. So I started on a drop spindle and then I went to the Ashford wheels, which I, I like them. Um, I love the Spinolution wheels though. They are amazing wheels. They're made in the United States, which is a big bonus. Um, and they are versatile. So I now have, will add, after these two, I will have three in my um, repertoire of spinning wheels that I have. Um, my husband's going to start wondering. I have um, I have two Ashfords that I haven't sold yet. Um, those are hard to get rid of because those were my first wheels. I also have two antique wheels. And I'm not sure about those. One is um, actually a one that I got from someone that had an antique wheel and knew that I spun. And the other one actually came from my husband's um, great aunt who was a spinner and that one would be, be harder to get rid of so right now they are um, tucked away in our in our garage safely and we'll see what happens with those but so without further ado um, let's get into this these guys have actually been sitting here all weekend um, I had about with vertigo which I am amazingly have never had before and it's horrible so any of you out there who have experienced that before, um, it's terrible. And so I have been kind of not feeling great the last four or five days here. And so these have been sitting in my living room in boxes. And um, today I am finally up to getting them out of the box. I'm going to do actually two videos. This one will will start out with my first one here. And then um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to the second wheel today, but I want to get this one done and upload it on the website. Hopefully the animals aren't too much of a nuisance. Um, it is beautiful here in Michigan. Hi, Megs. Um, it is in the 50s today, which it's today is Valentine's Day, February 14th. And <laughs> for it to be this warm, you have to go back, baby. Okay distracted her with a toy. Um, so it's Valentine's Day and it is close to 60 today, which is unheard of in February in Michigan for the most part over the years. Um, and so the dogs and I were just outside actually wandering through the property and looking at the fruit trees and dreaming about spring. So I decided to come in here and um, get this video done so that I could go outside some more this afternoon, hopefully. So Let's get this opened. Um, I'm gonna do it right from start to finish. I can't remember if I need any tools to do these to put them together. Um, if we do, I'll go grab them real quick and pause the video, but I think, and I can't remember, it's been a few years, or a couple years here since I've opened mine. Neelix, you need to move, honey. You need to move. There you go. Okay, so this first one, um, on this top box here and hopefully I'm afraid the Sun is gonna cause me issues today but we'll see um, this is going to be my polywog so this is um, the smallest wheel 
I believe the smallest wheel. This would be considered um, a travel wheel, which I am looking forward to because my Monarch is pretty big. Um, and so the Polywog is our least expensive wheel. Also, if you want to get into Spinolution wheels, this would be the one I want to, I would recommend. And get that out of the way. Um, and all of the wheels, um, I've been doing some emails to people when they, they uh, write into Spinolution or send an email to Spinolution asking what we would recommend. Um, I've been doing some of those emails here recently, and as I look at all of the, um, it, what each wheel has, what each wheel can do, they're so, they're all so very versatile. Um, and each one of them is just a little bit different than the other. And so I don't think you can go wrong with any of them, but that's just my opinion. So let's see, I, I know these are bobbins because I can see them. So this is just the basic polywog that comes with two bobbins. I'm almost positive. Got these two. And we get our little instruction um, booklet and the, oh, this is an instruction. This is my warranty, customer service, cards, um, and my drive band. It says right on it. So there's that. And these are all made in a similar uh, fashion, similar way. So my Monarch also has the um, I want to say drive head, and that's not right. But this is what holds the ball in. Um, so this is just going to snap on to. This is going to be really easy, I think, too. So let me put this down. That's where our bobbin is. And, oh, so cute. Okay, this is amazing. I don't know what I was thinking. I knew this, this was a smaller one, but here she is. And that is it, guys. So, that is it for this one. I'm gonna put it up here and I need to, I think I'm going to have to pause the video. There really are no pieces and parts to this one at all compared to my um, Monarch. Remember the Monarch is um, a pretty big one. So this is the, the smaller one, but I want to go pull up the um, instructions. Those are all online. So I'm going to pause this video real quick and I am going to make sure that I am putting this all together correctly. I don't think there's any wrong way to do it. And actually, let's see. I believe that this sits in here, and I'm pretty sure this is it. I will go and see. Oh, I know what those are. Okay, I'm getting the feel for this. So this one takes no tools whatsoever. Um, this just has a bolt that you screw into to attach these two parts on the back here. Oops. And I know when I got my, I feel like this is not gonna be, you know what, just a minute. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pull up because I feel like Nope, nope, this is right, this is right. When I think of the drive band going on here, I'm thinking that's not gonna work, but I think it is. You just wanna make sure it's screwed in tightly and you've attached. Um, if you watch my Monarch video, you will also see that these heads change out. 
Um, I actually have two heads, two different sized heads for mine, and they just do the same thing. Um, with the Monarch, it's a little bit different. It pops down into the base. It has a hole. This one just connects. You can see, and I apologize for the dogs. They are rolling in the sunshine back here, wrestling. So um, you can see there's uh, just a jig jog here, and that's where the two pieces connect. I feel like... I am still not doing this correctly. I'm going to go pull up the directions on the website really quick. Um, I actually have them all printed out already. But um, I want to make sure that I am lining this up correctly. And, oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. You just line this up and tighten it. And then it's all on there. And then... Maybe I won't have to go get the directions. Um, I will go get some fiber, though. I know I want to start spinning on this right away. So this one is... Oh. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that back. Because I want to put my dry band in there first. So I am learning right around, along with you guys. So I'm going to take this down for just a second. What you want to do is slide your drive band down in here. Okay, I had to stop the dogs. So, um, on this one, the polywog has these that come right up. You're going to lift both of them up. These are your pedals to treadle with. You're going to lift them both up. And then that allows you to put the drive band along the bottom side of the wheel. Just like that. We're gonna put them right back down. And then we are going to attach this back on. This wheel is super, super cute. I have a feeling my granddaughter is gonna start bugging me to learn how to spin because this is a perfect size. Um, and then we are going to, let's see here. Put this down. And then, okay, I'm gonna move the feet back again so that I can pull it down here. And around the wheel. And, did not tighten that. The trick is to get this tight back here. And that is it. It is all together and it's two pieces guys with the bobbins. So I'm going to go grab some fiber real quick and we're going to use this and see what it spins like. So just give me a second here. Okay. I, um, I wanted to show you too. I did have this the wrong way. So your, um, your little nut um, screwing thing does not go through the back. It comes right through the front, right over top of your um, wheel here. So that is all it takes, is this to be put on here and screwed in right here um, and the drive band put on. And that's as easy as it gets. I remember um, getting my Ashford years ago and 18 years ago was a long time ago for the internet because um, I don't even think YouTube was a thing at then at that time and if it was I did not know about it and I can remember spending the entire evening putting my spinning wheel together and my husband ended up helping me um, at the end because there were so many pieces and parts so these are so much simpler than that um, this one I do want to show you right in here does have the golden whirl which just makes this such a smooth spin um, so I do have three bobbins with this one again this is just the basic um, polywog and I'm going to try to turn you I'm going to sit right here it's so cute um, I brought um, I did bring the uh, I wanted to run through some of the um, 
oh, things on a polywog that you would look at when you wanted to purchase one. Um, just to give you an idea of what this wheel can do. If I can find the right sheet here. You can tell it's been a while since I have videoed. videoed. Um, so the polywog um, comes with the four ounce bobbin and um, you can spin extra fine. Um, you cannot do extra bulky on here, which makes sense. Um, the That was one of the reasons why I love the spin illusion was because you could expand on the bobbin sizes on some of the different ones. So this one wouldn't be one of those. Um, but the travel on this one is amazing. Um, it also has these, which are your Lazy Kate, which go right in here and has your tension right here that you're gonna change for whatever spinning you're doing. Um, and it'd be real, really easy to take this one on an airplane. Um, so this one is a different treadle. So this is gonna be um, a toe treadle rather than um, a whole foot treadle. So let's see here. And I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of Angora spinning, which I want to get my dogs in the way. She she finally. Um, oh yeah, this is. Oh how fun! I can see where this would be very relaxing with just your toes. It's a super simple, easy motion. Um, I apologize for my head being cut off, but I want you to be able to see. And actually, let me. Let me move you just a little bit closer here. I don't usually like moving the camera while I'm filming, but there. Let's do it this way so you can see. This is just a tiptoe. Um, right here are the treadles, and it's just you're, you're setting your toes right on it. And then um, I had carted up all of this fiber last week. This is some of my Angora. And we're just going to see what it does with this. Now, as different as this is compared to my Monarch, um, for me, of course, I've been spinning for a really long time. Um, there's not a lot of, like, I don't need to, to think about this too much. There's not a lot of change in how I'm spinning. It is very different. Um, how fun. I really like this wheel, you guys. And I love the size of it. This is gonna be perfect. I've got some events coming up. Um, one in a library, one at a school, and I'm setting up one um, with a spinning guild here locally coming up soon. And so this might be my wheel that I take. I am super excited about this. So if you would like any more um, information about a polywalk, please contact me. You can message me down below. Um, you can email me, um, tailspinfarm at gmail.com. I would be happy to answer any of your questions. I hope this wasn't too wobbly for you today between the dogs and the cat and everything else, but this one was super, super simple to put together. Um, even my Monarch, remembering back, there wasn't that many pieces to put together, but this is super easy, comes in a small box. And you can get um, the whole user guide on the Spinolution website. If you go on to the Spinolution website, they have all kinds of videos to help you um, if you have any questions, and um, I, I'm available to answer questions also. So again, um, click, uh, click down below if you um, have any comments or questions, you can put them down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, that helps me out. And I'm gonna probably sit here tonight, I'm gonna unbox this one next. Um, but I'm going to sit and play with this one. I am super excited about this one. I am super excited about the size of this one. Um, and for me with my Angora, having um, the small bobbin isn't, is, is a good thing because I spin, um, sometimes I do spin it thinner. And so I don't need a, the big, huge bobbins when I'm doing that. 
And so, and it's, it's useful because I could do two of these bobbins and actually spin two onto one of my bigger wheels also. So there's lots of options with these. Um, so I hope this video was helpful and thanks for stopping by today. You can follow me. I am at Tailspin Farm on Facebook, Instagram, here at YouTube. Um, I am mainly on Instagram right now and the channel, um, but you can contact me through there. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you're creating something. Bye.